Yeah, thank you very much, David. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, dear participants, colleagues, and friends. Welcome to the Open Science Conference 2021. Those of you who attended the past Open Science Conferences might agree that our conference series also serves as a monitor for the development of the open science movement. And in preparation of uh, this opening, I identified four phases through which um, uh, the open science movement has gone through. The first phase at the early days was very much a bottom-up movement when uh, scientists used and applied tools and technologies which originally were not designed and developed for the purpose of uh, being applied in scientific environments. The second phase uh, then uh, was um, uh, more related to science policy. Carlos Moedas, the former um, EC Commissioner for Research and Innovation, he introduced some of three O's, the open innovation, the open the the key topics to be addressed during his term. In addition to that, we have many uh, national initiatives. One of the uh, national initiatives was the science policy platform in the Netherlands. This platform served the purpose to uh, coordinate all national uh, um, activities in the country. And at the European level, again, we had um, like bodies and uh, expert groups around the European Open Science Cloud, which were mainly focusing on uh, research data management. And beyond that, the European Commission has initiated the Open Science Policy Platform. And all these activities serve the purpose to design a framework, a policy framework, which best supports the open science movement. Phase three, um, since we started uh, the conference series, was very much about working practices. Um, the key question there was how do scientists apply open science tools in their daily working practices for research and publication processes? And during that phase, we were still within the science systems. We didn't open up to, to address and connect to the society. And this is phase four. And this is also the topic of this year's conference, um, uh, this year, we want to ask the question, how does open science help overcome global crises and societal challenges? So we now open up to the society. And the objective of this year's conference is to find answers to questions such as, how can open science practices cope with global crises, like, for example, the corona pandemic? How can we improve science communication to different target groups in the broad public? The talks and the posters we have selected for this um, conference all try to contribute to answers to these questions. But of course, uh, the conference series cannot cover all aspects around the open science movement. And there are other activities which um, are going on in addition to what we are addressing. And let me briefly uh, address uh, these uh, additional activities. There are many activities going on to make open science, the new normal. For example, many science organizations are developing policies to position themselves for open science. My own institution, the ZBW, has a policy which helps us to find our position for the open science movement. The Leibniz Association, which is one of the large extra university research organizations, is about to kick off a new expert group to provide and develop a policy for open science for and with society. Additionally, we have, met, we have many international policies. For example, we have recommendations from the UNESCO. We even have an initiative referred to as the Global Open Science Cloud. It was initiated in 2019 in Beijing at a CoData conference. And the objective of this initiative is to connect the regional activities we have around the world. For example, to connect the European Open Science Cloud with the Chinese Science and Technology Cloud, with the African Science um, Open Science Platform, or the Australian e-infrastructure. So, these are all the activities which are currently going on. It's hyperactive, uh, that movement. And there is one special thing which makes the open science movement really unique. And this is its speed. 
everything I have presented um, has taken place in the last five to seven years. And if you compare this to the speed the traditional science system needed to establish itself, we can really say open science develops at a super high speed. And that's a good news. I very much like that. Well, these are my thoughts I wanted to share with you um, to kick off uh, this year's conference. I would like you uh, please remain as committed as you are to advancing the open science movement. I wish you all interesting and inspiring talks during the next three days. Enjoy the conference and thank you very much. And now back to David.